Time, time now for the latest edition of Alumni in Your Community. Today, we talk to an Attleboro man who has used his position as a firefighter to come back to BCC to improve his education. Hi, my name is Paul Hogan, BCC class of 2009. Originally, I was born in Biloxi, Mississippi. My father was in the Air Force, so I was a military brat and uh, my family moved around the United States quite a bit. In about fourth grade, we settled here. Um, my, both my parents are from the area. We settled in Norwood, and I graduated from Norwood High School in 1993. While in high school, I had a lot of career interests in uh, law enforcement, and also some in the fire service. So I definitely had a public safety-oriented future, you could say. After high school, I went to uh, Northeastern University and then after that I went to UMass Boston. Both years I majored in criminal justice. And then shortly after that, I started working as a uh, dispatcher for AMR. It's a private ambulance company. I worked there for about a year and a half. I dispatched a large area, the Norfolk County area, the whole state of Rhode Island, um, and covered some of the other areas as well. And then after that, I had a position with the town of Westwood, dispatching a police, fire, and ambulance for that department. I've been with the Norwood Fire Department since May of 2003. Um, I'm also a, uh, an EMT, which is emergency medical technician. Uh, we do split shifts. We do currently two weeks on the ambulance, two weeks on an engine or a ladder company. Uh, we you know, respond to fires, alarms, uh, car accidents, transport sick people, injured people to the hospital. I was interested in going back to school. I wanted to have some type of a professional standard or backing to whatever I was getting myself into. I've been on the fire department as a firefighter for a year, and uh, the uh, Attleboro firefighters put a, uh, some information on the state union website regarding fire science classes. I thought it'd be a good idea to check it out and see if it would help me towards taking a promotional exam. They're going to use the same textbooks and, and teach the materials. I found that to be a lot easier for myself. So I went and I found out about it, and the, the staff, uh, Chief Ravad, who was the uh, Chief of Somerset, but he's also the head of the Fire Science uh, degree program at BCC, he gave me a lot of good information and uh, was very helpful. So I started in uh, the end of 2004. It was tough getting back into school just to get in that rhythm of going to class, having assignments due at a certain time, but the instructors are very good at a lot of them especially for the fire service classes, who are on the job themselves, either chiefs or officers, such as lieutenants or captains, teaching the classes. Um, you know, so they could relate to where you're coming from, whereas a math teacher or an English teacher might not understand that uh, quite as well. The 24-hour shifts that we work, the rotating schedule, the weekends, the holidays. Um, but they're very uh, good at accommodating people or, or you know, maybe changing a day to, that might work better for other students. What I got out of the classes at BCC, um, aside from the education, was talking to other people that are in the field that are already in the fire service. Usually the first 10 to 15 minutes, we talk about what happened during the week at everybody's job. Somebody might have a hazmat incident. Somebody had a building fire. You know, and you learn things from other guys, especially guys who've been on the job longer. So we share that around the classroom. And even for some of the, the younger students who might not be on the job that are aspiring to be firefighters or paramedics or EMTs, you know, they were learning things as well. And they, they had things to bring to the table as well. A huge portion of the classes I took were at the Attleboro campus. Um, initially, I was residing in Walpole, but still wasn't a, a bad commute. It was very easy to get to right down 95, uh, probably about 25 minutes from Walpole. And shortly after that, my wife and I purchased a home in Attleboro. So the class commute was, you know, five to ten minutes. So it really worked out quite well. I have a, a family. I have my wife, Christine. We've been married since 2002. Uh, we have two boys, uh, Jackson, who's four, and Gavin, who's uh, two. Um, you know, we have a nice home in Attleboro and we play out in the backyard a lot and we have a swing set and... I enjoy being a dad and a husband. I love the job, it's, it's a good job. Uh, firefighting gets exposed to the public. You get to help people. 
when they're having their worst day, you know, and uh, when, when there's nobody else to call, they call us. So there's a lot of excitement, uh, and there's, you know, times that we're waiting around, waiting for something to happen. Uh, so you get that, that sudden change from nothing going on, you know, maybe studying for a little tenant's exam or reading a fire magazine uh, to possibly being inside a house trying to find the seat of a fire or venting the roof or looking for victims inside.